Hmm. Hello, Pokemon Go fans. We've got a special video today. Uh, yeah, there are no raids going on. There's not a whole lot going on. Just got home from work. And there's a package. Yes. Let's see what it is. Ooh. No, we're not taking any pictures of Ball Toy, but... <gasps> Look at the packing tape. What does that say? Ooh, it's a package from the Pokemon Center. Yeah. Oops, I'm just going to fling you around here while I try to... Ooh, look at it sparkling. It's a pretty big box. So... Cut into it. Mm. Okay. Ooh, I wonder what it can be. Okay. All right. Let's go and flash back out here while I get the box ready. Because I have no idea what... The, well, oh, I remember what I ordered, but... Oh, yeah. Cool. All right, let me take the packing slip out of... Okay, so it's all there. I uh, kind of thought that they would be bigger than what... Uh, anyway... What? Yeah, they're pretty cool. I kind of expected a little bit different, but this will work. This will work. That way it won't take up too much space. All right, folks. Okay. Here, let's go back to taking a picture. First off, what is this? Ah. Three remote raid passes for a uh, one Pokecoin? I'll accept that challenge. Yeah. I was going to have to buy some anyway. That's pretty cool. And then there's some news that uh, has popped up. So we will go over that as well. You see it up there? It's lit up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lit up it is. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. All right. Back to the box. Back to the box. I wonder what's in there. There could be anything. All right. Who is that? What? It's Squirtle. Squirtle. Yeah. Cool. It says he's like seven inches tall, so cool. Alright, so we'll go we'll go ahead and take him out of the package here in a minute. And then we have <gasps> who is this red and black dude? What or oh, orange well, you know what I meant. Whoa, look, it's Pikachu wearing a scarf. Cool. We'll save that one. Charmander! Charmander! Yep, it's Charmander. He's sitting down. Pretty cool. Yes, I ordered these. I'm going to start like a little... Bulba. Bulba. Bulbasaur. Yep, it's sitting down Bulbasaur. What else we got? <coughs> oh, there it is. It's upside down.
Who is that? It's Evie! <laughs> Look at that. That's cool. That's cool. Is there anything else in the box? Nope. Nothing else in the box. All right. Yep. I want to start like the little shelf. And I want to have these guys on there. So give me a second and I will pop them out. Of, what is that? That's a, a Lola Mola? Jeez. In the wild, huh? All right. So let me go ahead and pop these out of here. Yeah, I want to. I want to start like a little shelf, like I'm seeing everybody in these uh, these videos that I watch. And they've got their little background uh, shelf thing going on. Oh, look at Evie! Evie, so cool! All right, so there's Evie. Oh wow, it bounced out. Charmander. Yeah, I wanted to get all of the starters. Oh, this one you gotta rip out. No, it's got a little ziplock thing. Yeah, like a re resealable bag. Eh, uh, no good for a Lola Mola Ola. Amma Mama Lola Ola. This is cool. Good. So I didn't want them so big that, but still I thought they would be just a little bit bigger. But at least they're all the same size. Because I got I bought the Magikarp, and Magikarp is huge. Of course, I paid a little more for a Magikarp than I did for these guys. Here's Bulbasaur. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. Squirtle's a little bit bigger than the rest of them. I don't know if that's how it, you know, would be in real life. They're all like the seven. Uh, he's about the same. I would have liked him sitting down, but it'll work. And Pikachu! Alright. Yep, I'm going to show you all here in a minute. Let me just get them all out of their packages. And once I get them set up on a shelf. Oh, wow, he's really cool. He's really cool. Is he going to stand up? I may have to put something behind him to hold him up. But anyway, all right, there they are. Okay, let's go ahead and go in, take a picture. Are you ready? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start over here with the sweet tea. Wow, stealing the show. Oh, right, let's zoom out, and you've got Pikachu. It's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. I mean, he's... He doesn't really have anything to lean back on. I mean, that's my hand, so he's about, about the size, you know, about... So there's that. And then we move on to Eevee. Eevee's got the, the tail and the collar, and Eevee's kind of like sitting down. So that's cool. And then there's Charmander, and he's sitting down. Mm, he's a little bit shorter than the rest of them, but I'm assuming that's how they were. Or would be in if they were real. So that's him. He's sitting down. 
And then you have Bulbasaur. And he's sitting down. He's got the blossom, or the blossom on his back. I don't know why, but anyway. Um, so yeah, he is. He's kind of sitting, sitting back like that. Pretty cool. And then there's Squirtle. See, Squirtle's a little bit bigger, but he's not sitting down, so I guess. I mean, the head size is right about, so uh, it doesn't matter. And then he's got his shell on him, okay, and his little curled tail kind of helps him, helps him stand up. Oop. Yeah, see how it kind of helps him stand up, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, Pikachu needs some help. I have to lean him against Eevee. Okay, yeah. So there they are. There they are. All of the starters plus my Eevee. So there it is. So I think when I first started Pokemon Go, you had to choose from Charmander, Bulbasaur, or Squirtle. And I'm pretty sure I went with Squirtle. I think, yeah, because when you first start, the three of them pop up on your map. And nobody told me, because I thought, like, okay, so you just get to catch each one of them. No, after you caught the one, the rest of them disappeared. So I think I went, I tried to catch Charmander first. I tried to get him first. And then I don't, I, nobody told me how to play, so I didn't know what to do. So I think I threw the ball, and I missed him completely. So then I, uh, I went out because I, I didn't know. I'm like, what is the little door thing for? And then I think I went right to Squirtle, and I think Squirtle was my very first one. I don't have but maybe three of the originals from 2016 that I, that I caught. Uh, I wish I'd have known. I wish I would have known because... Now, when you trade somebody that has a 2016 and you have a 2016 to trade them, that it automatically goes lucky. So, uh, and it doesn't work if somebody has a 2016 and then they just trade it to you. Because I tried that with my nephew and it didn't work. So, there they are. Pikachu. Eevee. Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. There they go. So they're going to go on, on a shelf with my Pokeball. Yeah, these are the metal ones that you can buy from Walmart. And it comes with cards inside of it. And then it opens up. You can put stuff inside of there. So that's pretty big. This is it. Like, I choose you. It doesn't pop open. It just, it just pops in half. So there it is. There's the unboxing of... My little uh, starter collection. So there you go. I just had to do it. I just had to do it. And uh, all in all, that collection cost me around $52. So yeah, they were they were roughly... I think Eevee was the most. It was $11.99. The rest of them were about $10 a piece. So, there you go. So, let's go back here. Yep, all day long. It's been that little little piddly raining thing going on. What is this? Is this a barmy? 
Burmese, I think, can be shiny. They are kind of rare, so I try to catch as many just for the uh, for the candy. I've done all of their evolutions, and I think I have a hundo for one of them. That's no good. Okay. Um, I want to do my team rocket balloon. And then we will get into the news. There was some news that popped up around around uh, 1 o'clock when I was at lunch. So I don't know if this is the same stuff about a timed research um, to give us like an extra days maybe for the Halloween event. Not sure. Uh-oh, I didn't... Heal up my Tyranitar. That's okay. We got a uh, fully healed uh, Rhyperior there, so this will work. Water. Water on fire, obviously. That's what I want. That's what I want. I'm going to go to the front. Give me, give me Shadow Charmander. Beautiful, beautiful. I posted my, uh, my two videos about uh, Porygon Community Day. I saw there's already uh, a few, a uh, few people that uh, mm. looked at that already. So. I hope y'all did well. I uh, I have all my totals here. I know I ended up the the I wrapped up the video and as I was driving home, I was like, I was like dang it! I didn't uh, I didn't get to show y'all how many uh, how many I got of everything. We didn't do our we didn't do our totals. So that's one more thing I gotta do here. I see why they're doing this. They're doing this because eventually we're going to unlock um, Mega Mega Houndoom. So they want to make sure everybody's got a decent Houndoom. Oh, man. So is this one going to be any good? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. All right. I have my paperwork in front of me. So, if you want to take a look at it, oops, no, wrong button, wrong button, I'm so excited, uh, pick the picture, alright, so, Porygon, so, uh, before the event started, I had only seen 19 Porygons, and I had only caught 17, okay, so after the event was over, after Porygon Community Day was over, I had seen 711 of them, okay? And I caught 592. <laughs> I caught 592 Porygon, y'all. When I grind, I grind, okay? So there you go. So, um... Like I said in the video, the second video, uh, I started losing Pokeballs like really fast. So I went from just checking them to um, this is why it's so important to, to make sure you've got enough supplies to go into these things. If, especially if you're going to grind the way that I do. So after deducting the 19 from the 7-Eleven, uh, my scene is up to 692 now. What a jump from 19, huh? And my caught is now from 17 to 575. Well, that's how many I caught during, during the day. Same. So, my... 
this is as of now, and this is how many I caught during the day, 575. And how many shinies did I get? Did I reach my goal? Did I reach my goal of 20? Yes, I did. 27. That is a tie for my all-time record for Magikarp Day. 27 shiny. Yes. 27 shinies, y'all. 27 shinies. Oops, not shonies. Shinies. There you go. And I did... Oh, there you go. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rows of three is 27. I did one evolution in the... For the Porygon Z to get the try the try attack. It, it, it honestly, it was just my best stats for a, for a shiny. There was no point in wasting any uh, any candy and stuff, um, evolving something that's just gonna be useless. And then that is the regular. So, and then I left one as Porygon two. Oops. And I left. I I evolved this. Oh man, why won't it let me? There you guys. What we want to do. So I left the little blue, uh, the little blue duck. So I have the whole family. So there you go. The rest of them, I mean, you can see some of them are really good uh, CPs, but no, the the stats are awful, awful. So um, as far as other Porygons, uh, the. Only ones I kept. I kept. Um, I had. I had a few from before, so I had the uh, one. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Yeah, so I kept seventy of them. Actually, no. It's counting the uh, twenty-seven. So, eh, I kept a few. I evolved at least ten of them. Yeah, to get that uh to get that move, the try attack move. So yeah, so I did all of the ninety sevens. I got a couple of ninety nines in there, a couple of ninety eights. So yep. Yeah. So those are the only ones I kept. Anything that was ninety seven or better. Otherwise, I don't even think I'm going to hang on to those. I, I did keep this 96 because that's pretty good. I mean, geez, and Pete's. I mean, you know, good for a trade. Maybe somebody will get a hundo out of it or something like that. I did not get a hundo. Kind of disappointed. Look at this. A goal bat on the map. Look at that. How crazy. Driving to work, there was a there was a breloom. That's right. This this is the event for the big ones, isn't it? Yes, that's the the event that's going on. So you're gonna you're gonna have these um, third evol or second evolutions popping up all over the place. That's what this is about. Oh yeah. Okay, that's what it is about. All right, let's go look at our news. Let's see what this thing says. Uh, this was okay. This is what popped up. Have fun with the Long Champ and Pokemon collaboration. Uh, arriving soon in Long Champ stores in Pokemon Go. I don't know if it's some kind of. It looks like some kind of clothing line. Geared for Pokemon trainers, but it's also going to be something pop up for your avatar. In celebration of the exciting accessories coming out of the collaboration between the Pokemon Go company and Longchamp Paris, 
as well as the beginning Paris Fashion Week, we're proud to announce that a new Avatar backpack accessory item will be available in Pokemon Go. That's not all. Not all. Some fashionable Pokemon will be peer, appearing in the wild, challenging trainers in raids and hatching from eggs, too. Oh, cool. Fr starting Friday, October t uh, 2nd, 2020, at 8 a.m. to Thursday, October 8th. Cool. Special Pokemon wearing costumes will be appearing uh, during the event. Smoochum that has that hatched from seven kilometer eggs during this time will be wearing a bow. Okay, Smoochum. I think that's the. Um, I think that turns into Magmar. I think. Uh, Curlia wearing a top hat will be appearing in raids. They'll also. Uh, they they'll also know the move draining kiss. Interesting. Shinks wearing a top hat will be appearing in raids. That's cool because that's uh that's like a what a one star raid. Uh, Krogunk wearing a backwards cap will appear in Go Snapshot as surprise encounters. They may also rarely be, be appearing in the wild. Interesting. The following Pokemon will be appearing in the wild. Mareep, Skitty, Rosilia, Cricketot, Krogunk wearing a backwards cap, Blitzel, Cottony, Mincino, Gothita, and more. Okay. If you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny Cricketot. What? Finally. Finally. Good God, man. How many times have they tried to cram Cricketot down your throat and they had a spotlight hour for it and it couldn't be shiny? Now Cricketot can be shiny. What? So starting on October 2nd. Wow, very cool. Enjoy exclusive field research for the duration of the event. Dress up for Fashion Week in person and in game. Be sure to head to the shop for a free long champ avatar item in Pokemon Go. Then you can match your trainer avatar by picking up the same long champ item in stores. For more information on availability, please visit the official long champ website okay well that's pretty cool that's gonna be a good little event all right that is pretty cool all right i thought there was something about there it is okay this is the second piece that came in complete timed research to unlock an extra treat during halloween okay from Tuesday, September 22nd, that's tomorrow, at 8 a.m. to Monday, September 28th, okay? Become buddies with your Mega Evolved Pokemon and spend time with it. Be sure to take snapshots and share them with us on social media Using go uh, hashtag go snapshot. Complete the timed research during the event for a chance to unlock exclusive timed research for this year's Halloween event. Cool. The, the Halloween timed research will reward determined trainers with Gengar Mega Energy. Very cool. Yeah, so I can I can imagine this is probably gonna be the one of those uh, fifty uh, excellent throws and stuff like that. Be prepared uh, for 50, 50 uh, mega battles and fifty of this and fifty of that. All right, because where it says determined trainers, so 
yeah, this isn't going to be for, for the just casual um, Pokemon trainer. Pokemon appearing in the wild and in raids will be the ones that appear uh, large on Pokemon Go map. So just like we just saw the, uh, the Golbat. Uh, Mega Evolve your buddy and give it a treat to have it appear on the map for comparison. Cool. And let's see if there's anything else. I'm already... Uh, this is, this is kind of what we warned everybody about before Mega Raids came into effect. So that's why I started walking with my... Uh, my Charizard. So we are, we're almost best friends. Our Mega September event is right around the corner. Throughout September, there will be three weeks of Mega Evolution facing in battles. Da -da -da -da. I think this has already happened. Yeah, this has already happened. Mega Raids, Mega Raids, Mega Raids. September 11th, and that, that just ended. Okay, and this is just telling you more about the, the upcoming Tuesday that's tomorrow. Uh, making buddies, buddies with your, uh, and I'm pretty sure that during the duration of, uh, of, uh, your mega evolved, uh, Pokemon will now last for 12 hours. I know I saw, um, trainer club, uh, talking about that. Yep, so, yep, so your Mega Evolved uh, Pokemon will last for 12 hours now instead of four. Um, Pokemon that are large in size will be appearing more frequently in the wild, including Doduo, Alolan Executor, Pinsir, Lapras, how about that? Snorlax, if you don't have a good Snorlax, this is your time. Furret, Wobbuffet, Mantine, Skarmory. And if, you, if you're lucky, you might encounter Shiny Duduo. That's cool. That's his, uh, his first time Shiny in the game. That's pretty cool. Uh, ba 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 Be sure to take snapshots and da, 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 da. mega bracelets. Huh. Cool. All right. So we have basically two back-to-back -back events that are going to be happening. And remember, on the 30th, uh, Team Rocket, Jesse, and James are going away. So, and uh, they're saying that the balloons are supposed to be popping up more frequently. And they are. They're like every three hours now. But, um, I think I've only gotten one. One Jesse and James, uh, in the last three days. So, yeah, every three hours these, these balloons are popping up. So, be on the lookout for... Jesse and James and that Meowth balloon. Oh, Pat Rat. Oh, there is a raid. Uh, it's a three star. I tried to take down a Joltic last uh Jolteon. A Jolteon last night and I failed. I ran out of time with like three seconds to go. I had, I had it down, and I couldn't beat the three-star raid. I was trying. I was really trying. Let's see what Charizard has for us. It's probably not enough light. 
Let's see. Here he is. We can get him over there. Cool. Let's get his gift. Cool. Three hyper potions. Get him back walking with me. Whoops. Yeah, you don't lose those candy or lose those berries. They just makes like a little splashing thing. You don't lose those. You only lose the ones that he eats. Cool. There he goes. Aha, he says. And the snapshot is working again, so yes. I had my uh, photo bomb with Smeagol yesterday, so there it is. So I got my snapshot. I got my... Oh, I didn't do a play together. Get back out here. I thought I did that already today, but apparently I didn't. Apparently I did not. Come here, let me scratch your belly. Scratch your belly. All right, there it is. Now we got him. Okay, sweet. All right, look at that. There's a Nummel and a Hoppip and a Circus that cannot be shiny. Wow, that's fun. So there it is, folks. <laughs> Four days. This Venusaur. In fact, I drove by it today on the way home. And uh, I fed, I fed uh, more more uh, berries into the gym because it's right there by a stoplight. So I was able to feed everybody up, give 10 berries to all six uh, trainers Pokemon that are in there. Uh, which one is it? It'll have the little icon. There it is. So, yep. I'm on my way to getting a, I think we are a silver gem. Yep, there it is. There it is. And there I am. Ooh, good, we can put more berries into it. Heck yeah. Yep, you want to get rid of some berries. And you get Stardust and XP. What did you do? What did you do? Let's hit the side button. Yep, so you get uh, Stardust and uh, some XP watch when I... So you just, uh, as long as it's your gym and it's your Pokemon in there, you want to feed up everybody else's Pokemon too to help, help uh, keep that gym defending. Okay. And you slide over. I think every half hour you can feed them another 10 berries. Okay. okay cool. I don't know any of these people. It just happens to be on my way home from work. Right by a stoplight, and I'm just like, okay, you put put my Pokemon in this gym four days ago. <laughs> okay, next, a Gigalith. Yeah, it's it's right by uh, Auburn Park. Sparkle.com Okay. So there you go. Now watch watch at the bottom left hand corner. Okay. So we just got 
1200 XP and I'm not sure how much stardust you get from that but yep yeah, you need you need a little quick burst of uh, of, of uh, XP go feed uh, gems of the same uh, team that you are on so there you go I'm at 25 million XP. And caught over 41,000 Pokemon. So cool. So cool. So cool. Let's see what we got going on with eggs. Yeah, just walking around the, uh, the, the hospital. I uh, hatch about three or four eggs a day. Yep. And that's just with Adventure Sync. I don't have I don't have the app running, as I can't be on my phone. So there it is, folks. <coughs> the <coughs> unboxing of your Pokemon starters. <coughs> there they are again. Pikachu, Eevee, Charmander, Bulbasaur. Squirtle, Squirtle. <laughs> yep, there you go. That's going to be the new a new shelf that I'm working on. Yep, cool. So that's, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> I'm doing a Star Wars shelf. I'm doing a Harry Potter shelf. Um, yep, that's what I'm doing. So it's going to be a themed, themed shelf. So there you go. There you go. All right, folks. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Once again, it really makes a big difference. Um, so, yeah. All right. I will see you all in the next one. So, uh, starting tomorrow. Oh, wait, wait. Let's go back. Wait, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Tomorrow's uh, spotlight hour. Don't forget you have a spotlight hour tomorrow. And spotlight hours, spotlight hours, here we go. Tomorrow, including the event that we have, is Spiro. So I'm supposed to be doing my, uh, my evolution video tomorrow. So I'm going to do my evolution video tomorrow because the bonus tomorrow, um, Spiro can't be shiny. So, I don't know that I'm going to even even bother catching any of them. So, what we're going to do is uh, I have a list of Pokemon that we're going to... Yeah, so, you get twice the XP for evolving Pokemon. So, I'm going to put on um, two Lucky Eggs. And we're going we're gonna to get some XP. And, uh, and look, uh, look for my... Uh, Look for my evolution video. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have some pretty, you know, like ones you may have seen, just because I don't really have too many new ones. Um, I'll probably throw in a mega evolution in there. I wanted to do all three of them, but I just don't have enough Blastoise uh, energy to do a uh, a Blastoise mega. So. More likely, I'll do one of the Charmanders, or uh, one of the Charizards, and uh, we'll go from there. And hopefully, maybe we can do some raids with it or something like that. And we still got to do a PvP battle using the Porygon Z and find out how effective that tri-attack uh, move is. And was it worth it? So, there you go. All right, folks. I will see you tomorrow, okay? So from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Um, if you feel like chasing down um, uh, Spiro, um, you know, have at it. It can't be shiny. Uh, remember, two times XP for uh, doing any evolution. So if you want, if you've got some evolutions that you want to do. And you need uh, you need XP. Uh, there you go. 
So you're going to get XP for the first evolution, and you're going to get XP for the second evolution. So, you know, make make it one that you can do, um, you know, two evolutions of, and take advantage of that for an entire hour. So there you go. All right. I will see you tomorrow, 6 p.m. Be there. Kid Eric is out.